Okay, today we're going to run through how to reinitialize a PrepSafe GS printer. Now, you'd want to do this, say, for example, if the printer was acting up in any way, skipping labels or had some errors or so forth. Uh, basically, what it's going to do is reset the printer back to factory and um, then we can reinitialize it from there. So, to do that, first of all, we turn the power off. There's a switch on the back of the printer and we're going to push and hold both the pause and feed buttons. Now, what you need to do here is watch very carefully the lights as they come on in sequence. Okay, they're gonna come on blue and then blue and red and so forth. The second time we get a blue light by itself, we're going to release the buttons and that's going to initialize the reset. So let's go ahead and do that with this printer. Push and hold down, one, two, three, four, five, and ready and turn on. Okay, we have blue light, first time, blue, red, red, back to blue, release. As soon as that turns blue, release, okay, and we're going to get a single beep now, there we go, and now we're waiting for five beeps. Okay, so now we've had our five beeps, this printer is reset back to factory default. Um, what we need to do then is initialize the printer and make it learn its label again. Okay, so open the printer, pull the label out a little, close it, and it just measured its label. Each time we press the button, it should learn better and better over the next four or five labels, and we should be feeding one label at a time now. Okay, that is it. Um, the printer will still have the same Bluetooth IDs and so forth like that. It doesn't change that, but it just resets all the rest of the parameters. Okay, there we go. Have a great day, guys.